Live. When I'm working on a project and I'm really into it, I dream about the wood grain and how the wood grain will come together and it's pretty exciting. I love the smell of it. I love the way that the, as you sand it, the grain comes more and more out into the open. I like the way the smoothness of it, the warm feel of it. It's, uh, it's working with something that's alive that I, that I really enjoy. And, and I just fell in love with that. It's, juniper is, a, I call it an angry wood because it's got this nasty bark on the outside of it. And when you cut it open, there's a tension released and the pieces will twist and, and torque. So trying to make traditional projects out of juniper can be really frustrating. On the other hand, it's got this amazing character which makes it tough and e easy to work. It's a woodworker's dream because while it's a softwood and in the cedar family, it holds screws and it holds, um, it, it's durable and is light at the same time. Since I started making uh, guitar stands that, when a guitar's in a case, it stays in the case. When it's in a stand, it, it's, you're much more inclined to pick it up and play it. So having a guitar out is a lot better for uh, just being musical and, and taking the opportunity, even if it's only in like a five minute time while you're waiting for someone to get ready to go out the door, you can pick your guitar up because it's on the stand and ready to go. I look at them as art and, and something that's as, as beautiful and equivalent to, to really feature the guitar and show it off in all of its quality. And so guitars are mostly wood and mostly um, you know, nicely finished and, and uh, a lot of craftsmanship goes into it. I want the same amount of craftsmanship to go into the stands that I make. It's a blast. I spend pretty much all of my free time making guitar stands, making guitar picks. I'm just sort of a guitar geek when it comes to this thing.